لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين وبعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. We continue today's class, inshallah ta'ala, discussing the ayat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when he describes the situation of the people of the fire, the situation of the people who enter paradise, and the situation of the people who are in the middle. Their good deeds and their bad deeds are exactly the same. Yesterday, alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, we spoke about the affairs and the details in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala described those people who were doomed to the hellfire. How when they saw one another, and they saw the nations that came before, how they entered the hellfire, how they greeted one another by cursing and wishing Allah's wrath upon one another. And today, inshallah ta'ala, we discuss the details in which Allah jalla gives us regarding the people of paradise. We continue in our reading of Surah Al-A'raf, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in verse number 42 onwards, وَالَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ لَا نُكَلِّفُ نَفْسًا إِلَّا وُسْأَهَا أُولَٰئِكَ أَصْحَابُ الْجَنَّةِ هُمْ فِيهَا خَالِمُهَا He says subhanahu wa ta'ala after describing the affairs of the people of the fire, he says وَالَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ لَا نُكَلِّفُ نَفْسًا إِلَّا وُسْأَهَا He says, as for those who believed and those that did righteous actions. He says, these are the people of paradise. They will stay in paradise forever. Note that the common thing that Allah describes or the description that He always details about the people of belief, the people of belief, and the people who enter paradise, is that He always says, وَالَّذِينَ آمَنُوا And He says, وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ He doesn't simply stick or specify their situation as simply those who believe. He always says, وَالَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ Those who believe and do righteous actions. Which shows us a very important principle and that is for the people who believe, the people who enter paradise. Belief isn't just about Iman in your heart. For belief is something that can be shown in your actions, in your appearance, in your statements in the way you generally conduct yourself as a human being. Those who believe and do righteous actions. In fact, Allah He dooms everybody who doesn't do actions, righteous actions, as losers in this world. He says, Then, He says, By the time every one of you are going to lose, well, every one of you are losers. Every one of you will fail. Every one of you will go through the same detail that we spoke about yesterday about the Ashab al Nar, about the people, the companions of the fire. Except those who believe and do righteous actions. He continues, subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he says, وَنَزَعْنَا مَا فِي صُدُورِهِمْ مِنْ غِلِّ تَجْرِي مِنْ تَحْتِهِمُ الْأَنْهَارِ he says, وَقَالْ الْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ الَّذِي هَدَانَا لِهَادَا وَمَا كُنَّا لِنَحْتَدِيَ لَوْ لَا أَنْ هَدَانَ اللَّهِ He says, as the believers are now about to enter paradise, what Allah did what does for them as a sign of mercy is, وَنَزَعْنَا مَا فِي صُدُورِهِمْ مِنْ غِلِّ Allah did will remove from their chests, will remove from their hearts any type of ill feeling, any characteristic that is unpraiseworthy, any characteristic that Allah dislikes, anything that makes the person a bad individual, Allah remove from their hearts all of these bad characteristics, envy, hatred, greed, jealousy, <coughs> such that when people see their fellow companions in different levels in Jannah, they are pleased for them without disliking the fact that they are not there, or without wanting them to lose their blessings, the people of Jannah. The believers of Jannah are not like those who see people in this world more fortunate than others and they wish that their fortune is taken away from them. No, but every sign of hatred, every sign of envy, every type of jealousy that is found in our hearts, Allah before we enter Jannah, will remove them from our hearts, remove them from our chests. 
He says, Tajri min tahti wal anhar. And they will find rivers that flow under them. This concept of rivers flowing under them, what's the, what does this mean? Some of the scholars of Islam mention that person will walk upon rivers or his house will be built upon a river as in the dimensions and the design of Jannah is not something we can compare to this world. In this world, houses are built upon land and we walk upon land. But in Jannah, the dimensions change. Allah will build houses upon rivers and will allow people to walk upon rivers. Allah says, give glad tidings to those who believe and do righteous actions, that they will be given gardens under which rivers flow. <coughs> he says, subhanahu wa ta'ala, وَقَالُوا As soon as the believers see this, as soon as they see their homes, as soon as they see these rivers flowing, as soon as they find this, this envy or this hatred removed from their hearts, the first thing they say, وَقَالُوا الْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ الَّذِي هَدَانَ لِهَذَا وَمَا كُنَّ لِنَهْتَدِيَ لَوْ لَا أَنْ هَدَانَ اللَّهِ They say, when they see all these wonders of paradise, they say, all praise and all thanks belong to Allah Jalla wa'ala. All praise and all thanks belong to Allah because He is the one that guided us to this. Never could we have achieved this except through the guidance of Allah Jalla wa'ala. At that moment, at that situation, at that particular moment, every believer understands the importance of being guided. Every person understands the importance of Islam. Every person understands the importance of staying upon the Surat al Mustaqim. And this is why Allah doesn't just stress guidance in the Quran, but He commands the slaves of Allah to recite it 17 times, at least 17 times a day. He did a Surat al Mustaqim. Surat al Ladina al Amta alayhim. Guide us to the straight path. Because the most important thing for us as believers is to be guided to the path and to remain guided upon the path. So the first dua when we open the Quran is the dua of guidance. And when Allah Jalla tells us what guidance is, He says, ذَلِكَ الْكِتَابُ لَا رَيْبَ فِي هُدًا لِلْمُتَّقِينَ This Quran which you are reciting now is a book that there is no doubt in. It's your guidance. For those who have taqwa in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So imagine the believers now, they see the wonders of paradise. And sometimes we think to ourselves, you know, the wonders of paradise, are we doing the same thing every single day? Will we not get bored? Are there any other luxuries that Allah Jalla wa'ala spoke about? He says, subhanahu wa ta'ala, وَبَشِّرِ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ أَنَّ لَهُمْ جَنَّاتٍ تَجْرِي مِنْ تَحْتِهِمُ الْأَنْهَارِ كُلَّمَا رُزِقُوا مِنْهَا مِنْ ثَمَرَةٍ they say, قَالُوا هَذَا الَّذِي رُزِقُنَا مِنْ قَبْلُ وَأُتُوبِهِ مُتَشَابِهَا وَلَهُمْ فِيهَا أَزْوَاجٌ مُطَهَرًا وَهُمْ فِيهَا خَالِدٌ He says, subhanahu wa ta'ala, well, in, in the, as the days of Jannah were past, the believers begin seeing the beauty of Jannah and the adornments of Jannah and the rewards of Jannah. When they begin seeing all of these luxuries of Jannah, they say to Allah, Jalla wa'ala, haven't we been given something like this before? But every time they're given something else in Jannah, it will be more beautiful than what they were given the day before. Even though it looks the same, it will have similarities in appearance, but it will taste much better. It will look much better. It will smell much better. It will feel much better. As the days of Jannah go by, Jannah becomes more beautiful and more beautiful. And the rewards taste more sweet and more sweet. For this is what Allah Jalla wa'ala prepares. And this is why the very first thing the believers say when they enter Jannah, وَقَالُوا الْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ الَّذِي هَدَانَا All thanks belongs to Allah. You guided us towards this. It wasn't for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who would not be where we are. Allah, Allah Jalla wa'ala says, لَقَدْ جَاءَتْ رُسُلُ رَبِّنَا لَقَدْ جَاءَتْ رُسُلُ رَبِّنَا بِالْحَقِّ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, when we see Jannah, when Ahl al-Jannah see Jannah, 
They'll thank and they'll praise and they'll glorify Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And they will say, indeed, it's true. Whatever the messengers came with, all of this was true. And then they will say, a call will call, which will echo across every level in Jannah. <laughs> A caller will call and his call will echo throughout all of the ranks in Jannah. And he will say, this is the Jannah. This is the paradise. This is the reward which you yourselves have earned. This is what you earned in your actions. This is what you are deserving of. All of the salah you performed, all of the fast that you fasted, all of the charity that you gave, all of the time you lowered your gaze, all of the time you protected yourself from your temptation and desires. This is what you've had. So when the call of calls and you see all of these rewards, all of these luxuries, and you understand that the messengers came with the truth. Now Allah describes a prayer, an amazing, amazing description. And he says that the slaves of Allah, when they see the bounty of Jannah, when they see that this is what they've had, they now look towards the people of the fire. And they call upon them. And they say to them, وَنَادَى أَصْحَابُ الْجَنَّةِ أَصْحَابَ النَّارِ أَنْ قَدْ وَجَدْنَا مَا وَعَدَنَا رَبُّنَا حَقَّا They say, فَهَلْ وَجَدْتُمْ مَا وَعَدَ رَبُّكُمْ حَقَّا The people of Jannah, they'll see the luxuries of Jannah. And then they call out to the people of the fire. So from the scholars of Islam mentioned, they'll be given the opportunity to see those who used to mock them, to see those who used to slander them. To see those who used to oppress them, to see the enemies of Allah, to see those people who used to cause much affliction upon the earth. You see your colleagues at work, you see your colleagues and your peers in your schools, every person that made Islam difficult for you, you see them. <coughs> Allah Jalla wa'ala said, and you will call upon them, and you will say to them, An qad wajadana ma wa'adana rabbuna haqqa. You see everything, everything Allah promised us. Everything is true. You used to lie to us, you used to belittle us, you used to mock us. But everything he's still told us, everything he's promised us, the whole line, the palaces made out of pearls and silver and gold, the houses that are made out of fragrance, rivers flowing underneath us, everything he's promised us is true. We found it all to be true. So you mock them, you belittle them in this way. And then Ashabu Jannah ask a question. Allah Jalla wa'ala says, they look to the people of the fire and they say, فَهَلْ وَجَدْتُمْ مَا وَعَدَ رَبُّكُمْ حَقَّا Have you found what Allah promised you to be true? Have you found the horrors of the fire? Have you found the angels ripping your cheeks? Have you found the angels crushing your heads? Have you found the ovens that burn the people of zina? Have you found the thorn that ripped away your skins? Have you found all of the adab, all of the punishment of Allah to be true? They say, فَهَلْ وَجَدْتُمْ مَا وَعَدَ رَبُّكُمْ حَقَّا Allah Jalla wa'ala say that they will say, قَالُوا نَعَمْ Yes, we found it to be true. فَأَذَّنَ مُؤَذِّنٌ بَيْنَهُمْ اللَّعْنَةُ اللَّهِ عَلَى الظَّالِمِ Thereafter, Allah Jalla wa'ala commands a caller to call. And a caller will call extremely loudly. And will say, the curse of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is upon all of those people in the fire. This, or brothers or sisters in Islam, is a brief description, a brief detail of the people of Jannah when they enter Jannah. And the people of Jahannam when they enter Jahannam. Allah Jalla wa'ala speaks about their details beyond these ayat. And he speaks about the first request the people of the fire ask. He speaks about those who are on the middle route, their deeds are even, their good deeds and their evil deeds. All of this can be found out. All of these can be understood if we, put, if we open the book of Allah and we read. It's what the scholars of Islam, they say, better than any heart softener, better than any story better than any tale is the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the words of Allah jalla wa ala, which we have in our own hands all I did for you right now is simply translate these words 
If you want to connect ourselves to Allah, if you want true guidance that the people of Jannah are proud about, are thanking Allah for, this is where it lies in the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Miswaq Ramadan, Shah Ramadan, Unzila fihi Quran. It's a month that Allah Jalla Wa revealed the Quran in. It's a month of guidance because it's the month of Quran. It became known as the month of Quran before it became known as the month of Siyam. All of the prophets and messengers revealed their revelation in Ramadan. If there's a month where we turn back to Allah by reading His words, it's in this month, the month of Ramadan. And this is why I'll choose not to mention the story of those people who come in even. And that is for you, inshallah ta'ala, to pick up the book of Allah, to find Surah Al-A'raf, and to go from verses 35 onwards, to read for yourselves what Allah Jalla wa'ala says regarding We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us from Ashab al-Jannah. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us of those who enter into Jannah praising Allah and thanking Him. We ask Allah Jalla wa'ala to make us of those who call the people of the fire. We ask Allah Jalla wa'ala to make us of those who see the wonder of Jannah. We ask Allah Jalla wa'ala to protect us and to look after us. To grant us the guidance of the kitab and the, and the, and the guidance of the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Rizakum Allahu khairan wa barakum Allahu fikum wa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Rabbi Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Rabbi Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sallam.